request. Here we've got the store, product 61, comes in black and demi. Uh, when you choose these, it doesn't change, but you can see them down here. I've changed it so product 63 has it. When you choose a color, it changes the picture as well to whatever you specify. You can still see them down here, but it also changes up here. To get that done, you have to go to your products. And I'll just start with number one. Let's try 61. Then you'll go to options. And under options, there is category. Or excuse me, combinations rather. So options first, then combinations. Now you need to make a new combo. And here it comes in two, black and demi. Uh, since demi is already shown, we need to show a picture for black. So we choose a combo for black, change this picture so that it is now this image. Hit OK. And now it shows that there's two. Uh, so if the option black is chosen, it's going to show this picture. Otherwise, if it chooses any other color or any other power, well, they both say any power, so that doesn't really matter because you leave this at any. But color any means it's going to use this. Color black means it's going to use this. Then you just save it. Now if I go back to the store, click on 61. When I choose black, the black frames show. I'm going to remove that because I don't think I used the right image. But you go to products, pick a product, options, combination. Now if there's something that has four colors, you'll need to make four new combinations. One for every color choice that you've selected. For example, product 344 comes in four different colors. So you would make a, oops, not a new option rather, a combination. So it starts out uh, with this picture. So we'll do one, change this to be the blue. I mean, this isn't blue because I don't have the right image. Add a new combo for brown, change the image for that one. And new image for red. So now four different numbers change based on if they choose green, or er, gray, brown, blue, or red, since this is the last color choice.